my face looks like it's hair. Oh, I think they were looking for like a lot of advice. I'm going to really give any <laughs> advice. I want to play Cupid and <laughs> make this happen. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the legend that is Miles Kane. Woo! <laughs> Um, well, a brand new single and a brand new album on the way. What's the title of the album? One Man Band. One Man mate. Band, <laughs> aka Miles Kane. So you'll see me on tour soon with a thing. The bass drum on, on your back. back. And a symbol on my head. <laughs> By the way, I've got to ask, what's the obsession with turtles? What's that all about? <laughs> Don't know, mate. I, I think I looked in the mirror one day and I thought, my face looks like a turtle. And then someone else said it to me and then this thing started. <laughs> I saw there was a Shadow Puppets anniversary recently as well, I right? Know, I saw that. I didn't. Uh, I didn't realise myself. Oh, really? Like Fifteen years, man. Wow. How mad is that? Any plans to bring Shadow Puppets back anytime soon? No, not at the minute. We're both, you know, enjoying our course, yeah, acts yeah. and whatever, and. Um, but you know, we, I mean, we always talk about it, like yeah. whenever we get together and stuff. So when the time's right, it just has to happen. It can't be planned, you know? It's like, whenever we're sat on the sofa like this, and then we pick up the Akui's, that's yeah. how that thing works. what you call them, is it? The Akui's? The Akui. <laughs> that's the acoustic guitar. Yeah. Everyone else at home. <laughs> the Akui's, oh my God, that's funny. I'm Northern. You're a fan of wrestling, aren't you, Miles? In fact, if I, I've actually always wanted you to do this to me. Get, what, get want... me in a headlock. Just a headlock. Your best Miles Kane. No, actually. Oh. No, no, because if wrestling, you would be Miles Payne, wouldn't you? Miles Payne. Miles Payne. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you put me in a headlock? <laughs> Do you know what? This story, this is a funny story, actually. That you... Don't try and avoid this. No, I'm not going to avoid it. But right. when I met my favourite wrestler, Finn Balor, right? Oh, yeah. Who ended up, we ended up doing a music video together. Me and my mate met him and his mate, and we went out and we had a few whatever. We ended up back in his hotel room, and I said to him basically what you said to me. I went, "Can you body slam me on the <laughs> on the bed?" Yeah. My mate looked up. Finn started body slamming me and DDT me on the bed, and I was like, ah! "My mate goes, I have never seen you so happy." <laughs> a boy he hated me we barely speak he doesn't see like i do but it's better anyway i gave my all he hated that it took him a while to text me back what did i do but it's better anyway so why can't you give me the time give me the time Give me the time I need So why can't you give me the time Give me the time Give me the time I need I loved a boy, he knew me well First he was great, could never tell we'd be through in a month or two I took a chance we weren't the same what do you expect he ran away they all do saying it's me not you so why can't you give me the time give me the time give me the time and me it's Thomas Eden everyone let's go <laughs> I haven't seen you since you toured with Alfie in America. Oh, yeah. Alfie Temple. Man. It was great. We were on our bus. It was, it was the first bus tour we've you ever done. We shared it together. We shared it together. Oh, both no. bands. It was really what's, good. What's Alfie like as a as a roommate? Do you know what? I bless you, Alfie, if you're watching this. I thought him and his band would be very messy, but they were very clean. And we, to be fair, we were a very respectful bus. There was. It was probably the least rock and roll bus tour of America anyone's ever we been on. We did face masks. We were doing, pedicures. you know, nighttime skincare, all of us in bed by 10 p.m. Well, this is the new generation of rock stars, man. That's how you guys do it, you know, in bed by 10 p.m. Your autobiographies are going to be about three pages yeah. long. I guess maybe the result of that traveling and writing music is this brand new single. 
Yeah, man. I, I love the boy. boy. Woohoo! It's actually quite a sad song. Tell us about it. Why, why, why were you feeling sad? What, what's it about? To be honest, it actually is not me being sad at all. I, I met up with uh, a friend when I was in Australia, and she was going through a breakup, and um, it was honestly, I'm terrible at giving advice. All my friends know that, and so it was very much just a. We had a coffee. I mean, it was one of the things that I just like had to express sympathy, mm. um, but I couldn't really. I think they were looking for like a lot of advice, and I was like, I don't know what to tell and you. And you were being a bloke about and it. I was being you? a bloke about it. I'm gonna really give any advice. You got Georgia, and then you've also got Vic the Victoria EP. Yeah, man. Um, you clearly like writing songs names. about about names and Jack's people. Jack's coming next. Please, right? This is what I was gonna say. Could we like? Could we do like a Jack song? Yeah, now? I'm all for it, man. That, like this, this works. Like, okay. We, you know, we could. Yeah. One, two, one, two. This is you. Hey. This. Okay, Great. are you going to play? I thought we were doing a duet. Yeah, sure. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? Jack, you give me heart attacks. Your hair is red, just like my bed. Wish I could take you there to my bed. <laughs> we are the last dinner party. We're in London. We've just come back from a show in Rotterdam. That would be Nothing Matters. That's our first single, our debut. I guess our best, most recent fan interaction is this guy just sent us a message on Instagram. He goes to university in Leeds and has a crush on a girl that goes to university in London. He was planning to ask her out to our gig and a way to like see her in London, but we sold out of tickets. So now we're, we're kind of scrambling around trying to see if we can get him gasless because I want to play Cupid and <laughs> make this happen. I mean, Cupid is on our logo as well, so we kind of have exactly. to, like, we're kind of obligated to do that. <laughs> My failure at being rock and roll is we were doing um, a gig outside at All Points East um, and there's always points of the set where I'll jump off the stage and like run around in the audience and turn around with maybe five seconds left before I wanted to get back up and do a scream and just looked at the stage and it was towering above It's like me. more than your height. Like. It was, I really, <laughs> I was like, it's like, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to stay down here and do this, but no one's going to see me and I'm going to miss this like great shot. You know when like a, a mother, when a baby gets like trapped under a car and a mother suddenly has superhuman strength to lift the car? That was me, that was my baby under the car and I like steel flopped my way back onto the stage uh, with my legs sort of flailing and then managed to make it for the scream. But um, that says <laughs> that was my moment.